Covenant House is one of the largest charities in the Americas. We work with 50,000 homeless and trafficked and exploited teenagers every year across six countries from Canada to the United States, Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. It's a movement to get kids off the street and into safety. It's, um, I worked for Covenant House as a volunteer when I left college, and I'm so glad to be back you know, 20 or so years later working with kids who are braver than I could ever be. We're working with kids who don't have a circle of love around them, kids who don't have a safe place to sleep. They come inside. They get sheltered, they get a meal, they go to school, they begin to dream again and aspire. And we're helping kids cross that bridge from homelessness to hope. Homelessness has been an issue that Cabrini, Cabrini staff and students have been uh, working with and trying to address in many ways for years. We said it would be a great opportunity to bring someone that's in the nonprofit sector that represents a real national issue, who's a national leader, to both talk about his particular area of, of, of interest, but also what it's like to be a leader in the nonprofit sector. You know, the first thing we want for kids is for them to be safe. And we want them not to be on the streets and not to be vulnerable to the guns and the gangs and the bullets and the bullies and the perps and the predators who are out there who prey on vulnerable kids. They are so at risk out there, and each year, 5,000 kids in the U.S. die on the streets in, in the age group that we work with. So there's a lot at stake. So just opening kids' eyes to the possibility of tomorrow often excites them and gets them to chase their dreams.